Hello there everyone, Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of Midwestern Minecraft. We are here on episode number 22 of this series. Do appreciate everybody who's come out. I do apologize for the delay here on Twitch uh, between uh, posting of the tweet of going live and actually going live. Um, because, um, well, had an update for Stream Deck, and I was like, okay, and yada, 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 went through that, and, um, turns out that somewhere in that installation process, um, the, um, um, my OBS got decided, yeah, I'm going to mess with you because of this uh, patch update for um, Stream Deck. And um, turns out also that um, the, 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 um, there was another update to Stream Deck. As I, um, after, you know, I got, as I was about trying to get stuff started, there was another update. I was like, I'm not going to do this right now. And then, of course, it's probably the one that, you know, whatever, the first update that I had was the, um, it caused problems. And that's why, you know, stuff happened. And, um, so, um. That is why I'm literally having to do this literally old school um, to um, select stuff around because um, of stuff. So on the agenda for today, we're going to take a break from working inside the base for a, a little while. Do need to get a couple things, but today we're going to um, do... Um, some stuff here outside. So, I mentioned before that um, I want to get uh, some prettiness in here. I was thinking that um, could have a, a little bit of a, a what's it valley here, a um, little bit of a water thing. Obviously, with this right here, not going to do that. You know, all the way out here because you know, obviously, I want people to you know come down here. So, um, but we will still put in a little bit of a water thing, a water well, on both sides. And we're also going to put up, um, uh, stone brick walls. And, um, all that nice sort of stuff. So, let's go ahead here. I'll show you the stuff that I've been able to work on off-cam. So, when we first came back into the series... We were working here on the throne room, and I have finally, through a lot of effort and time, over the past, what, two weeks, something like that, finally gotten stuff done. <laughs> I, I just wish I didn't have to push it farther back, but, um, because we were originally, uh, I think it was right about in here, you know, uh, right about in here for our stuff. And, or maybe it was here. Well, what are these two guys right here? One of those two guys. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I was right in about in here, actually. Yeah, I was right about in here. It was about this guy, so. Literally, I had to push stuff back so I could have the five pillars. So, um, there is that. We're going to take the cheap way down to the smelter and going to have some fun doing that. Let's see. Let's see a fish. Go. Like I said, we're going to take the... There's an oxidal right there. Let's just let that oxidal... Uh, Join its buddies. 
just put the clay right there. See? Oxodles can... Oh, it's a baby Oxodle! Anyway, back to, uh, back to the... Whoa! <laughs> we literally fall in the smelter. Um... Get to show you guys. Finally got all this stuff here installed. Finally got uh, some uh, access on both sides. Got the back walls put up. Not everything has been installed, though, of course. So, um, still going to have to work on... Is that a line? No. Nope, that, that, that's that's another thing on my to-do list, is get that fixed. So, but yeah, I've gotten a um, number of things here installed, here in the Schmelter. I have completely gutted and transferred over all the uh, cobble here into the first section um, of the cobble storage. Got a little bit of... Uh, Stone brick being smelted right now. Stuff on our shopping list. So yeah, here is the what's it? As you guys can see, completely restored to its cleanliness glory. So let's go ahead here. Pick up some supplies, or at least start picking up some supplies. One thing I'm going to need is, uh, where is the bucket? Going to need the bucket for our water. Um, what the hell? So, let's quickly voyage to the other end of the rats. <laughs> of course, you know, me running around the smelter here, I don't You always use the mine carts. And, um, yeah. Let's see here. Still need to empty that out. Where are my things? There they are. Boom, 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 boom. Need the bucket. Need the couple. Let's take the dirt just in case. So we'll go ahead and pick up the smooth stone that I've had smelting in the uh, furnace here, for these two furni for a little bit, because I knew I would need some um, more stone brick. Let's see. Oops. I was hoping I'd click that correctly and... Uh, at a momentary... I do. That's an idea. Just gave myself a little bit of an idea here. Is um, maybe we'll see how it look. Um, see how it looks first. Oh, and also we're gonna have to do a thing too. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's see. So the idea I had was to. Um, also, I want to have in here uh, an access to um, these levels so, you know, people can come up here and, you know, we'll probably put in some, some more stuff out here, too, so. There we go. Make sure we're in line.
see. I'm gonna the moment so that we can. Uh, let's see. idea basically have that turn out here let's to go underneath the uh, this bit right here have to go to bed soon I think I got a spare bed we can at least pull over the bed from um, What's it? Our second hobbit hole. Come on. So I know where's that? There it is. So I was like, I know I got the lightning rod here somewhere. Go ahead here. Let's go sleepy sleeps. I don't want to have to work through. This isn't like, you know, being downstairs in the smelter, you know, we can, uh, where well, we got plenty of light, of torches. Let's see, do I have a spare bed somewhere? No, I don't. I'll just snag this bed. In some ways, I'm just so used to having, um, in some ways, not all the way, of course, um, um, kind of used to having a, a pick at the first uh, thing there, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops, that was a dum dum. Okay, huzzah. All we need to do is fix this little bit right. Come on. There we go. Fix this little bit right here. Ta da! There we go. Now people can, you know, come up in and out, you know, come through. Yada, yada, yada. We have to do this, to, of course, to both sides, so.
I am so freaking glad that um, I was able to get um, stuff done related to um, oops, stuff uh, getting the stuff done on the smelter. But like I said, a, a thought for today's episode. Um, I need a little bit of a break. From working, you know, in the base. And so I was like, what's well, something I can do? I need to do something. And, uh, of course, I need more uh, stairs. And so I was like, well, what's something I could do for today's episode? And I was like, oh, wait, wait. I, saw, I thought I saw a glitch there, some sort of glitch there on the... Um, um, my enchanting table there. Yeah, I just saw, I guess it's because I saw the entryway, my brain registered things as a glitch, and uh, I was like, uh oh. An oopsie poopsie moment. Come on. Bloody gravel. Covered you up, hoping that I'd never have to see you again, but here it is. I meant to see you again. Come on. I'll have to do this, so. Oops. Not there, you silly stone brick block. Let's see. Do that. Yep. Just, you know, measure twice. Okay, once. Put that guy yeah, there. And then the stairs. Ta da! Now, like I said, I thought I had this little idea of um, having this little bit of an access way. So that, you know, people could, you know, kind of, like I said, and we're going to probably figure out, once we get all the, um, the critters here moved in, we'll probably put in some sort of, like, garden here to either side. Have a little bit of something of art, you know, some sort of creative art thingy in addition to the, uh, two beacons. I gotta grind, um, some, um stuff at some point um, with us. We might do that in a future episode. I'm getting a little tired of... Um, I might actually do that next episode. Actually. 
that there so that uh, I'm not get, my OCD isn't getting all what's it it out by the fact that hey there's a lightning rod just floating in the air there what a gravel First, let's go ahead here. We will prep. All right. I have to make an ex executive decision here. Because it's going to be like that. Hmm. Let's see here. Because what I want going into the. Come on. Stuff here. Let's get the wall done first. Let's get the wall done first. That'll let's let's do the thing with the fewest possible errors. Ah, I may have just come up with a solution. Bloody gravel. Get up here, let's go quickly to bed. I mean, yeah, we have the uh, the glowy glow, but um, ow. One part of our solution, now that I think about it a little bit more, is going to be, we're going to put in, as part of our stuff, we're going to have, I'm going to put in a, a, our uh, cobble fence right there. That'll be part of our solution. That'll be part of our solution. And then come on. Ah. See, so let's get our dirt. Simply pillar back up.
make that part of a retaining wall. There we go. Problem solved. It might actually be a good idea to um, um, essentially do the same sort of thing over here as build up a retaining wall and then um, have um, this fence right here, you know, merge over and then we'll s still retain that one. I have to do some stuff there, but for the moment, we'll just um, keep it as is. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead here. Start doing this out. Now, knowing that oxodles can swim, we're going to have to go get some fence. Some wood fence. Because I have a little idea here. Oops. Put that back. I'm going to dig one more block down. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Duh. Don't want to forget the thing I want to do here, so... Um, this is part of the reason why we're going slightly deeper. Now that's why I didn't really do much of this off cam, is I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with this area. And um, go from there, you know. It's still high enough that they can't quite escape, you know. Quotation marks, escape. Just trying to be careful here, guys. Don't want to diggy too much out. Gosh darn, it's got me thinking of Clamave de Profundis now. With some of their uh, dwarven music. All right, there's that. Plenty of, uh, getting plenty of, uh, cobble, that's for sure. All right, well, first, uh, come here, way with sun. You have to go down the stairs and put some of this stuff up. Also get started on this right here now we're gonna leave a gap right here and there's a whole reason for that is because right here I want 
do that. Want to make sure that things are the way I like. So we'll do this. There we go. Just temporarily yank this, get one bad boy out. We'll go get another. Let's also make up some more uh, what's its stairs. Let's get out of bucky. This is why we're not having to always uh, come down uh, to uh, water level here to uh, fetch water. We only have one bucket. So the plan is, let's put these guys in. Try this again. There we go. Aha! Yes, that will work. That will work. All right. So as you guys can see, my sort of little plan here is to have the a waterfall and then have, have with the stairs, you know, sort of have it go down toward the oxidal pool. And we'll have this on both sides. This is what I was talking about, sort of the idea I was talking about when um, I was saying, hey, here's the idea I want to do. So the thing we need to do before we do anything else, we need to go make a deposit in the smelter. So do I don't think I have any uh, stone brick up here. I think it's all brick brick or um, calcite. Let's see here. Let's do. Oh, I still have a stack of uh, brick on me. Well, we're still gonna need it. Still gonna need it. Uh, yep, they are done. We'll go ahead and chuck in. these guys <clears throat> excuse me Let's see there we go Sounds like someone's honking their horn outside. I hear it faintly through my headset. All right, let's go get our stuff that we need. Yeah, I'm hearing some sort of horn outside. It's one an air horn too. Go ahead here. 
craft a whole stack of... I know it's not going to be enough, but at least, it'll at least be a start. Get some more... Uh, stone brick going. <clears throat> Get that guy back going downstairs. It's not time, of course, so let's take a uh, quick little uh, thing here. Oh, that's an idea. Then, where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? Let's get this to both sides. Ow. Oh, wait, we haven't installed the wall on this side. Duh! Let's go to bed. Make it daytime. Ow. There we go. There we go. Fix that guy right there. Oops. Now, before we do stuff here, like I said, I want, I want, we'll do this right there. I do want flowing water, but before we do that, so I don't want the oxidals accidentally getting out. No, we well, I went to the effort to save them, so. So let's go ahead here. I should have more than sufficient uh, fence to. Oh, hello, Rain. theory on waterlog stuff is correct. Aha! There we go. There we go. Goal unlocked. Now, yes, you know, that is a little thing, but it shows, you know, I'm trying to be responsible. You know, obviously, you know, if this were more realistic, I'd have a drain, you know, somewhere out probably to the ocean. But, you know, it's, uh, at least I'd be having the oxidals get fresh water, you know, in the system. So, oops. Let's go ahead here. Make sure that we get 
those guys there. Aha! Starting to come together, starting to come together. I'm going to go ahead and put water block source that water source block there. There we go. So all I need to do now is gank the fence back out. Ta-da! Oh wait, that's right. Ugh. Oh wait. Yeah. I'll... Hmm. We do it like this. Yeah. I want to live with it like that. Yeah. So is that uh, we have a little bit of additional safety measure because, you know, it's uh, the, uh, the only block would be right here. And um, but yeah, yeah. We'll have to go get um, some more uh, what's it blocks. So um, before I forget, again, let's go ahead here and do that part. There we go. There we go. That's what. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Get our last little bit of fence right here. There we go. Let's take a look, see? Yeah. Yeah. That way, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, that actually looks better. Have it be a little bit more open. You know? Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, this was a good idea, guys. This was a good idea. Have the um, stuff work here. So, let's go ahead and take back that. Not to do that. Let's get the uh, official retaining wall built in here. And we might do that next episode. We might go to the nether and um, take a break from uh, doing all this construction work. I, for one, could use a little bit of a break from construction work. It's not that I haven't uh, not wanted to do construction work. I know I've been needing to do construction work. It's just that, you know, um, stuff's got to get done. I've been doing a lot of stuff off cam, too.
go ahead here. We'll get all this stuff tore out. Let's make up some more what's it? Oh, getting slowly getting there. And we can work on our next level going down. See, this is part of the significant part of the reason why I love having, um, 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 huge cobblestone stowage it's because I tend to use stone brick. You know, don't get me wrong. I love using other, I like to use other uh, block types when I get the chance, especially if it means adding a little bit of a uh, color to something. And of course, stone brick will always be the um, um, be the primary construction material. It's getting night time, so. Let's go ahead and go to bed. Make it less rainy, rainy. Ah. There we go. Just wanted to make sure where I was. Hey, Ali, how are you doing today? Thank you for the tackle hug. I will take uh, a tackle hug. How is it doing in Ali Landia? Hope you're doing well. Today we're doing a little bit of an outside construction project. Something I've been uh, wanting to do for a little bit now. A little bit of beautification. Well, I was suffering technical difficulties earlier. First, uh, my stream deck said, hey, you have an update. And I was like, fine. You know, this is I was getting ready so to stream. So I was like, go ahead and patch the update. And I tried to push my live button and lo and behold the um thing oopsie poopsies did not want to do that uh lo and behold um let's get that first uh things did not want to cooperate because it looked like i'd have to put in another patch the second patch to fix the boo-boos of the first patch and i was like this is a great time for you to be telling me this stuff uh stream deck oops that's an ouch and so and then um it made obs go haywire i had to go literally reauthorize obs to do its thing and so um you know reconnect it so i could stream so basically um what I'm doing, Allie, is um, um, wanted to put in for a little bit now, and I figured today's episode would be a little good episode to do it, is put in a little bit of a side water feature. Originally, I wanted to do, you know, all the way from, you know, have a wall right here, 
and have this water feature extend from right over here all the way here to the oxidal pool. But of course, um, the um, had the idea to have this little thick space down here, this little, small little, you know, where you could pull up your canoes and all that, your boats. And so um, thought I'd have to push it back. So, and I was like, I'll go ahead and do that. So anyway, got the first side here done. And uh, as you can see, it is most wunderbar. Wanted a little bit of an additional water feature, and we've got it to where it flows into the oxidal pool. So, you know, it shows, you know, the symbolism of, you know, they're getting fresh water, you know. Um, basically because the reason I have an oxidal pool, I'll show you, is um, back here uh, into the mountain, my stuff here, is that got this lush cave, you can see some of the remnants of it but um as you can see down here you know there's an there's some oxidals swimming down there and so um i thought you know oh you know whenever they would spawn in i would um you know i'd do what i can to go go down and rescue them you know it's like it's like i don't want oxidals you know being trapped down there and it's like, well, what can I do with them? You know, when I was originally thinking about it. So, any hoozle, um, this little pond we got up here was originally uh, a lot shallower. It was originally um, about that deep, about about just a block above where the water level is now, and you know, had a little shallow pool, you know. And so I was like, well, what can I do with all these oxidals? And um, what can I do with them? And I was like, oh, oh, I can take this little pool right here. I can increase the depth and I can make it the oxidal pool. Give them a little shelter and have a little feature across the Grand Causeway. So, and I thought, well, I want this little water feature. And I was like, oh, I can augment the uh, oxidal pool by giving them a uh, proper water source you know feed in so that this is what I've been working on this episode is getting this stuff done let's see here so I want to put in so there's that there's that Yeah, it's one of these, I'm not the best at always designing, you know, the sexiest of, um, of, um, of, uh, material when it comes to, you know, designing stuff, but, um, there's that, finally, <laughs> so we got to fix this floating thing right there, the lightning rod. Don't want that looking like it's just a floating lightning rod all by its lonesome. Gonna have to go get some more stone brick. <laughs> yep, definitely gonna need some more stone brick, so. Let's go ahead here. I'll flush this stuff up there for the time being. Ow. That hurt. Dum-dum. Oh, Dum-dum. Dum right. Let's go ahead here. Have to go back downstairs. Oh, hello there, White Cat. It's White Cat. Are you wanting out, Mr. Butt? Is that what you want? That's probably what you want. Yes, yeah, sir, guys. Gonna let White Cat out.
All right. Yeah. Now that white cat is successfully out. Let's go ahead here. We'll put on another order of uh, smooth stone. Let's first go ahead here and um, don't know how I was going to that side. <laughs> see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and pick up some more of that. Come on. There we go. See, this is part of the reason why I have the um, accessibility requirement for the smelter. have to be able to go from point I can as I've said before for prior smelters literally got to be able to go from point A to point B boom and you know even just being able to be inside the smelter get rid of that bloody gravel So in sudden, let's go ahead and we'll head to Sleepy Land. Let's go ahead here. Snag the bed. We'll just put it down here. Alright. Let's go ahead and put up our rest of our stone brick here there we go Ugh. why cat but, just a second, White Cat now wants in. Oh, got White Cat here. Picked him up. Trying to see if he'll turn on his jet engine. But he's not jet engining. He goop your eye. You got some goop there in your left eye. What about your right eye? Oh, you got a little bit of goop there in your other eye, too. There you go. De goop the corners of your eyes. You gonna turn on your jet engine now? You gonna turn on jet engine? Put you down. <sighs> silly, silly white cat. Silly, silly white cat. Silly, silly white cat. Silly, silly white cat. Alright. Let's see here. I'm going to have to make up some more stairs. But, <clears throat> excuse me. For the time being, we're going to have to focus on this now, 
How did I do the other side? Let me see here. Here's one of those things where I can consult. That is bugging me to beat the band. That is definitely bugging me to beat the band. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Fence. I mean, wall. Fence, wall. Almost same difference. So. Let's see here. Now, how can I do it on the other side here? Uh, Got to take the long way around. Got to take the long way. I'm thinking, I might come underneath the, the bridge here and fix that. I mean, I wanted originally to have it be as uh, varied in color as possible, but um, hello. Unfortunately, Oxidals, I am not here to play. Let's go ahead here. There we go. Come on, Twee, you can. There we go. Go ahead here. Bring it to under the bridge. Yeah, I'm just making sure here. Let's pick up a bucket worth of water. Come on. And, uh, fence, fence. There we go. Come on. There we go. Make sure that it's flowing the right way here. It is. Huzzah! Let's go ahead here and we'll finish reinstalling stuff here. I've already got the thing I'm looking for right there. How did I do the other side? Yeah, I did do a fence. Okay. I mean, a fence stairs. I, I said fence meaning stairs. Blech. 
Let's go ahead. We'll um, pick up another bucket of water. Certainly makes life a little bit easier not having to always have to go take whatever which way. Seems sense, seems to make sense, you know. Let's take all those stair, take that stack of stone, partial stack of stone brick, just turn them all into stairs. It is so wunderbar that they added the um, um, stone cutter. Makes life easier. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. I was thinking, why is that like that? I was like, duh. Yeah, though, what's it? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was having a momentary brain fart. I was like, wait, why did I do this? Oh, wait. That's right. Duh. Oh, wait, double dum dum. There we go. That's what it should be like. Oh, almost forgot to do the bucket. Bucket. There we go. So now our oxodles would, at least more realistically, have a source of fresh water, you know. Of course, you know, Minecraft, while not fully realistic, at least has some degrees of realism. So all we need to do now is install those guys. Ta-da! Let's see here. Boop. There we go! Let's go ahead here and take a look-see. Yeah. Now, like I said earlier, had the idea of um, let's at least put some glowy glow here in the stairwells. Ooh. Right there, yeah. Yeah. No, actually, we won't put any right here. We'll just put the pair right there. And the right here. So where was it on the other side? Okay, it's third block. There we go. Uh, let's go. Where is it? Trying to remember where all that glowstone is. I got. I think it's all downstairs. Yeah, it should be all downstairs. Methinks. 
Of course, here I am being all dysfunctional and all. There it is. I was like, I know I got some here somewhere. Should be, I was thinking it was, should be here in the, um, another, uh, uh, thing, so. All right. Now the multi-block question is, is do I want to have just the, um, um, have just the short, Guys, like I've got right now. Hmm. I'm imagining here in my brain place. Nah. I'm th th there are some places like right here where it would be good. But I'm thinking that um, to either side here. Um, I'm thinking that it's not going to be um, as useful, if you will. Let's go ahead and pick up my bed. I'm going to go ahead here and we're going to do, um, do this. So... Yeah, we're going to go ahead, like I said, we're going to go ahead and build up our retaining wall. I know uh, I said we'd wait till later. Well, I, I feel like doing it right now. Pull up my fortune pick. I am fixing up some of the oldest parts of the base here. Oops. Let's see. As soon as it starts becoming night, we're going to see... Uh, an idea. Do it like this. Oops. Long stack of stuff there, tree. Did I do that? Now we can actually leave it. Let's see here. Yeah, let's do it like that. There we go. As soon as it fully becomes night, we'll be able to see how things go. Fix that. Oops. Oh, wait. Do you want that? Actually, that's a good idea. Come on. There we go. Yeah. 
have that a little bit higher. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. It looks a little more flush. And, you know, it helps support the, you know, functions as a retaining wall a little bit better. You know, I, I kind of wanted to keep it the way it was, but at the same time, you know, it's like with uh, with the what we got over here, you know, obviously it's not quite that wide, but um, I didn't want, you know, obviously, you know, we don't have to go quite so wide, so. Yeah, I still want to retain the, um, at least some of the original thing. Let's go take a look-see upstairs here. Just seeing how much cobble I got. Let's take a look-see up top side. On our way through here, through the, what's it? The staples, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. All we need to do is um, sort of follow over here like we got here on the left-hand side beacon is um, we need to go through and create a little thing, I'm thinking, is so as that... Um, because of the way I've got it, because obviously, you know, the dirt, uh, you know, how it's grassland now. I'm thinking we need to fix that. But yeah, this is looking cool now. Looking way cool. I think we'll also take out that little bit of um, stone right there and replace it with dirt. Yeah, well, next... Um, Next episode, as I was saying, um, definitely need to, um, um, blub blub. Also take out this little bit right up here, too. Have that be, uh. That be dirt as well. Go ahead and take out this whole little bit of thing here. Make it dirt. We got some dirt. There we go. There we go. can also take a look see at our stuff that we've uh, adjusted over here on the um, um, bridge there the, by the entrance let's see how that looks to leave those two blocks right there should be quickly hop across here technically I shouldn't be doing this but I am the chief architect of my base here and chief builder yeah okay we want the two on top right here to be like that so like that. Yep. 
will be four blocks out for the stone brick. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, that was a good idea not to put a glowstone right there. Yeah, that was a good idea. Would kind of affect the Grand Causeway a little bit, so. Actually. Then goof right there. So, one, two, three, four. On the fifth block. Should be the same out over here. Let's go ahead and quickly head to Betty Bar. Ow. Boop. There we go. Let's double check over here. Time for an anti dum dum maneuver. four blocks and then we'll continue along the uh the what's it line the one block gap so yeah, well i may have done goofed over here but uh at least we can fix it so Let's see one two three four on the fifth in other words right where the lightning rods are that there. You know, I kind of wanted uh, that to be natural, but I'm thinking now that we'll uh, just build up uh, a complete retaining wall. Ow. Uh, can I even get back up? I'm just trying to decide do I how far do I want to build a retaining wall here? I think we'll go ahead and uh, do it like this. Follow some core natural course of the um, the stone here, but we're gonna leave a little bit, just a little bit. On what's it? In? Because I don't want to have to, you know, constantly you'll be going out into the ocean to just get uh, the wall perfect, so. Actually... This is a better idea. I think I have a better idea now. We'll bring it to right here. Let's take out all this stuff I've just placed. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes, you know, you gotta... Think, do some uh, carving, and then realize, you know, not worth it. So what we'll, what I'll do, well, I'm going to have to go back downstairs to the smelter. We'll get some uh, more smooth stone. We'll replace the stuff that we've just pulled out. That was a dum-dum. And um, we'll f essentially fill it in essentially have a little bit of a ret retaining wall but not have it be so um, um, screwed up this is the best way I can put it so let's see here I'll still have some some stone brick not a lot but at least some 
really thinking about wanting to tear all this stone here out. With the exception of the areas where we've got um, stuff already. And, um, you know, like keep this stone here and around over there and over there. But turn the rest of this into, um, turn it back into dirt so that we can have a little bit more of a garden area, garden-ish area. Ow. <laughs> that was an interesting sound effect, how I went, how the tink of the, um, cut, wax cut quartz went ting! You know, when I pitched. Let's see here. Let's get all that stuff out of the way. And into the bottom guts of the smelter here. Yeah, we'll take the 36. Let's see, let's go ahead and we'll craft that into some stone brick. Oh, did not that way, stupid minecart. Boom. Ah! Pfft. Three, you done goof, son. Here I am. I go into natural auto auto magic mode to do stone brick, and I gobble up all the smooth stone that I'm trying to use to replace the smooth stone I either done goof pulled out or unintentionally pulled out or need to replace with. You done goof, son! Well, while we wait, while we wait for some of the uh, stuff to get done, let's tear out a little bit of dirt. I mean, a stone. Done goof there, twee! Can at least do this. Do at least a little bit of terraforming. We've got plenty of dirt that uh, we can replace this stuff with. Only have 32 blocks of dirt on me, but at least we can make a start. I know that technically this is a different biome, but um, I would rather have a little bit more dirt and a little more ground in this area, a little more Pretty fine, you know. Ow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and anti dum dum. Splash. Another thing we can do while we wait. Put some stuff up. There's that. There's that. Some more, another thing of a small short stack of coal. Just giving our uh, guy here a little bit more time to do its thing, anywho. Forty-three isn't much, but it's at least a start. At least it's a start. After I done goofed making all that stone brick. Uh, 
You see, this is why I love the high capacity of my smelter design is because it can get a lot done in a short time. You know, I could go run off and do a, like a little decoration stuff. You know, turn the thing on, go uh, get the distribution going, turn it on, turn on the fuel, get the distribution. Uh, and then come up here and do this little bit of decoration and then come back and boom, I've got, you know, like seven, eight stacks worth of stuff. And I'm like, huzzah, huzzah. First come out over here to fix this little done goof. Oop. There goes the sun. It is setting. There goes the sun. There is one benefit, though. At least we've got in some areas uh, here now a little bit a little bit of an emergency access to it yeah there we go I think we'll do we'll go get a little bit more smooth stone yeah we'll get go get a little bit more smooth stone and we'll basically We'll uh, bling, bling, bring the da, da, da. Thinking of the, thinking of the bling bridge. Um, um, bring it up a little bit more. In some spots, you know, um, here along this edge, and um, that way we can. Um, so what I'm thinking here is part of our terraforming here that I want to get done. Daytime. I mean, I've got my got my in-setting stuff set up and but with it being um, evening here on stateside, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Yeah, that is a lot better now as I look at it. Um... Yeah, it wouldn't, I don't think it, it, I think it'd be a little too gaudy if uh, I put, um, um, glowstone. I was thinking it would be a little too gaudy, and yeah, that's right, it would be a little too gaudy if I did that. also go downstairs and get some uh, some of the dirt I've been getting for um, from mining because I because obviously I've done a lot more uh, I haven't obviously been doing quite as much on the um, terraforming here on the surface to do stuff and um, and um, Oh, that's an idea. Tree just gave himself an idea. Basically. Um, we're going to leave the stone that we sort of left right here. We'll leave that as the edge. It'll be a little bit less. It'll keep sort of the sort of a safety thing in a way. Anywho, let's see. Let's go ahead and go get um, that smooth stone we need. Also pick us some doit. Oops. <laughs> Kept trying to push the wrong buttons and uh, wasn't going anywhere. Let's 
see. Let's go pick up. We'll let's head over to um, end of the mine, end of the smelter where I got all my stuff. Pick up some stacks of dirt. I know I got dirt a plenty. So uh, phew, that'll do. That will do. We go ahead and take our mine cart. Like I said, we're just trying to give our smelter a little bit of time to get its stuff done. Because we want that stuff done so as that makes it easier to um, not have to make another trip down here. I don't want to done goof more than I have to. Hopefully a stack will do. We probably wouldn't have had the full stack. We would probably have had to wait a few moments for the whole stack to get done. All right. Oh, let's see here. Let's get up to the top and we'll go do our stuff. Yeah, we'll have this part here be a, excuse me, serve as part of our retaining wall. And we'll have this as a um, little bit of an emergency access here. Excuse me, but it felt good. <laughs> Silly twee. All right. Let's do a little bit more cobblestone cutting and then, uh, I mean, stone cutting. Bleh. Definitely want to start to get into here because we need the, obviously we're going to need the grass to spread. And I would rather have, you know, this sort of, yeah, this, this feels nice. Not, not having to build stuff, getting actually to do a little bit of terraforming. Getting this little side project done. Something I need to get done, anywho. I'd rather get s times where doing something like this is so worth the effort. Oops. That was a smart maneuver there, tree. some point I'll probably want to come in and work on this a little bit. There we go. Try to at least get some of this stuff. Better feeling as though it's a little more flush with each other. Feel a little bit, somewhat more natural. I know that what actually happens in nature versus even Minecraft nature versus human intervention, or in this case, player intervention, is not always the same. Nice making this feel, start to feel a little more like a garden area. Oops. Come on. There 
There we go. There we go, indeedy. And put more of our dirt there. I definitely want this to feel. Like I said it, it would be nice. I'll obviously have to make some adjustments to my virtual botanical brethren. We might, I might actually come in and fill this area in here. Yeah, that might be a good idea to come in and fill this area. There's lava here. I can use that lava. I just heard it suddenly burble and I was like, wait, lava, where? That would be a good idea to... Um, to um, go get that lava. You know, dig it. We're not going to worry about it now. I don't want to go, with all the stuff I've got on me, I don't want to have a moment of, Trino Birdie! Trino Birdie! I don't want to have that. But, um, probably take, um, um, take the lava and use it to smelt off some of the stuff I need to smelt off in the smelter. Oops. You guys saw nothing. Come on. There we go. But uh, take that lava. Smelt stuff off with it. Especially all the uh, overflow clay that I've got going on. So yeah, definitely next episode we are going to do another quest. We've already got our uh, in our knowledge of stuff we have a um knowledge of where our fortresses and so we will gather up some supplies uh next episode and we will proceed out to our fortress and we ooh, you see this is why i brought my fortune pick with me um because coal is a precious necessary resource. So yeah, we will definitely next episode um, perform uh, a hunt for uh, some withers. Wither skellies so that I can go face off against some wither skeletons. Nope. We'll just fill this in with dirt. I don't really give a darn. Normally I would prefer other fill. You know, uh, andesite, diorite, granite. But in this case, I really don't give a darn. Let's go ahead here. Start filling this stuff in. So we can hopefully start to get some of the grass to spread out this way. In due time, let's go ahead and quickly uh, put a buffer right there so we can start having the grass go that way. Go that way. So where in the heck did I put that bed? It's still over there. Yes, it is. Being a dum-dum. What else is new? <laughs> So yeah, I'll, um, we're going to be ending here shortly. And, um, and, um, I'll finish up the, uh, the dirt stuff here off cam. I'll show, hopefully we'll be able to also, uh, also terraform over there and, um, a nice little detour. I need a I need a break from both mining and building. I've, you know, having spent a decent chunk of uh, last week working on the smelter. I need a break from the underground. And that's part of the reason why I thought, what are we going to do today? Oh, let's work on the uh, stuff up here. Hmm. 
And so this is, of course, been the result, you know. Let's go ahead here and uh, we'll finish this part up. Get the, uh, hopefully get a little bit of more dirt laid. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to make this, both of these areas here on by the beacons, both sort of, you know, a garden area. And uh, unlike our evil base of last world, where we had both regular gardens, you know, flowers and all that, and, and an evil garden, we're just going to have regular gardens. Figure out um, some sort of um, stuff for um, how I want it. Oh, I might have to. I'm gonna have to go uh, double check some stuff with um, chunk base to see if um, maybe um, can get uh, see if there's like any nearby maybe flower biomes or um, even a sunflower biome too to see if maybe. Um, We can get um, 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 you know some sunflowers to be able to um, get um, um, some sunflowers as a part of our gardens that I want to put in here now. Definitely going to move the bees inside and the rest of our critters as well. There we go. Let's see how this is looking. Yeah. Now all we need to do is just let the dirt, uh, grass do its spread. Yeah. Having this be a little garden area. That would be, that would make this area look pretty nice. Cover up this little bit of dirt here. Yeah, this is starting to feel definitely, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this side. But now, yeah, this is starting to feel a little bit more. Yeah, I definitely want this to be a garden area. Bring more reason to have people come up here by the beacons and, you know, Maybe that's what something I could do is make it have a little outdoor cow pen too, and sheep pen too. You know, have have not have have our usual uh, industrial production stuff for those guys, but have um, you know, just you know, a couple cows, a couple sheep. It's raining. We need the rain. We need the rain. That's got me thinking back to the. Um, um, when we were, I was doing all the uh, stuff with the mud brick. God, I don't think I'm really going to use mud br as quite as much mud brick in the future. At least we did this. At least I did the smart thing and um, uh, did what I did. There we go. Did what I could to uh, maximize my minimums and minimize my maximums. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead here, guys. Oh, that's wait, wait, that's right. Um, what's it's broke? <laughs> uh, what's it's broke? I need to do that. So, um, let's go ahead here. We're gonna go ahead and do go. Uh, see if I remember that. There we go. I did remember that uh, to command right. So, uh, let's see here. Um, let's see who is live, who is live, who is live. Need to go say, preferably if possible, say hi to somebody. Haven't said hi to in a while. Um, here is somebody. I think we, uh, let's make sure he's up in live first. So, 
Um, da -da -da -da. He's been up for a while. He might be. I think he's going to be ending stream soon, that guy. So, uh, let's see here. Who else? Who else? Who else? So, maybe here. Maybe here. Let's see. Make sure. Oh, good, good, good. Shorts haven't been up long, so. Hello there, white cat. Don't worry. I'll let you out here in a bit, okay? Let's see. Make sure I spell that right. It's one of these things that a uh, laggy twig finger can be a thing, so. There we go. There we go. We're going to be going to say hi to Tay. She's currently playing Sons of the Forest. So go and select the Tree Grove has arrived to bring you Shaded Water. That is our standard raid call. Please wait for me to post first. I want a nice, strong raid behind me. So hope to get you guys on Thursday with another episode of Midwestern Minecraft where we're going to be going on another quest for Wither Skulls. And uh, we might do a little bit of additional construction uh, after. Saturday, going to be another episode of City Building Saturdays uh, in Baki. Hopefully, we can get past that scenario. Knock on wood. Um, and then, of course, on uh, Sunday, another episode of Titan Quest The Loot Grind. And like I said, double check the calendar. We'll be able to put in a fourth week of, um, of uh, more Midwestern Minecraft. So, we'll be able to do that next week. So... Let's go ahead here. Let's get this raid party started. As uh, appreciates everybody who has come out, and I hope to catch y'all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.